Hello math wizards! So today, we're going to study about divisibility rules. So paano nga ba natin malalaman in just a short span of time kung ang isang number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So before that, don't forget to subscribe. So the first one is divisible by 2. So a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is an even number, meaning if it ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So examples, we have 134. So 134, it ends with 4. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. Next one, 376. It ends with 6. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. The next one is 847. So 847 is not divisible by 2. 2. Why? Because uh, it does not end in an even number. So it ends with 7. The next one is 1498. So it ends with 8. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. Next is divisible by 3. So ang isang number ay divisible by 3 if the sum of the digit is divisible by 3. Therefore, kung iaad daw natin lahat ng digits ng isang number, Kapag pwede siyang i-divide sa 3, it means the number is divisible by 3. Example, 384. So, how do I identify if 384 is divisible by 3? So, ang gagawin natin, i-add lang natin lahat ng digits. 3 plus 8 plus 4 is equal to 15. Since 15 is pwede i-divide kay 3, therefore, 384 is divisible by 3. Next is 376. Kanong step pa din? I-add natin lahat ng digits. So, 3 plus 7 and plus 6, that's equal to 16. Okay, so 16 ay hindi pwedeng i-divide kay 3. So, therefore, 376 is not divisible by 3. Next is 840. So, add natin lahat ng digits. 8 plus 4 plus 0 is equal to 12. Uh, the sum is 12. Since 12 is divisible by 3, therefore, 840 is divisible by 3. Next one, 1,902. So, i-add lang natin lahat ng digits. 1 plus 9 plus 0 plus 2 is equal to 12. Since 12 is pwedeng i-divide by 3, therefore, 1,902 is divisible by 3. Next, divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. Okay, so dapat daw yung last two digit ng isang number ay pwedeng i-divide kay 4. So example number 1, we have 324. Yung last digit ng 324, ay, I mean the last two digit ng 324 is 24. Therefore, pwede siyang i-divide kay 4. 548. Yung last two digit ng 548 is 48. Ang 48, pwede siyang i-divide kay 4. Therefore, it is divisible by 4. <clears throat> Next, 814. Yung last two digit ng 814 ay 14. Since ang 14 ay hindi siya pwedeng i-divide kay 4, meaning, 814 is not divisible by 4. Okay. We have 7,840. So, ano yung last digit? 4, 0. So, ang 40, pwede siyang i-divide kay 4. Therefore, 7,840 is divisible by 4. <coughs> So, divisible by 5 naman tayo. So, ang isang number ay pwedeng i-divide kay 5 if the last digit ay 0 o di kaya 5. <coughs> Example, 315. 315 ends with 5. Therefore, it is divisible by 5. 380. It ends with 0. Therefore, it is divisible by 5. 554. So, 554 ends with 4. 
So, hindi siya nagtatapos sa 0, hindi rin nagtatapos sa 4, meaning, it is not divisible by 5. The last one, 7,840. It ends with 0, therefore, it is divisible by 5. Next, divisible by 6. The number is divisible by 6 if it's digit is divis uh, if if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 or we think of so a number is divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 examples 384 so check natin kung pwede siyang i-divide kay 2 so repeat ko lang ang isang number pwedeng i-divide kay 6 Kapag ma-meet niya yung condition na pwede siyang i-divide kay 2 at pwede rin i-divide kay 3. So, since 384 ay ends with 4 and that's an even number, meaning pwede siyang i-divide kay 2. Next, next, check natin kung pwede siyang i-divide kay 3. Para natin malalaman, i-a-add natin lahat ng digits. 3 plus 8 plus 4 is equal to 15. Ang 15, pwede i-divide kay 3. Therefore, 384 is divisible by 3. So, sabi ko kanina, para ang isang number is masabi natin na divisible by 6, dapat mamit niya yung condition na pwede i-divide kay 2 and pwede rin i-divide kay 3. So, meaning, 384 is divisible by 6. Next. Okay. So, let's now move on to our next example. We have 476. 476 ends with an even number. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. Next, check natin kung pwede siyang i-divide kay 3. So, add all the digits. 4 plus 7 plus 6 is equal to 17. 17 is not divisible by 3. So, how do we check if it's divisible by 6? Dapat, pwede siyang i-divide kay 2. And at the same time, pwede rin siyang i-divide kay 3. Since 476 is divisible by 2, but not by 3, therefore, it's not divisible by 6. Next, 843. 843 ends with 3. So, it's not divisible by 2. Check natin kung divisible by 3. Add all the digits. The answer is 15. 15 is divisible by 2. 3. So, how do we check if it's divisible by 6? Sabi ko nga kanina, dapat pwede i-divide kay 2 and at the same time, pwede ring i-divide kay 3. So, not divisible by 2 but divisible by 3 meaning, not divisible by 6. Kasi hindi niya na-meet ang dalawang conditions which is dapat by 2, divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. Next, 1,902 ends with 2, therefore, it's n, it's divisible by 2. Add all the digits, the answer is 12. 12 is divisible by 3, therefore, the number 1,902 is divisible by 6. Okay, so don't forget, dapat pwede siyang i-divide kay 2 at kay 3. Okay, next. Okay. So, how do we identify if a certain number is divisible by 7 in 5 seconds or less? So, is 532 divisible by 7? So, what are the steps for us to identify if it's divisible by 7? So, the first one. Take the last digit of any whole number and multiply it by 5. So, kukunin na lang natin yung last digit ng isang number at lagi, lang, lagi natin i-multiply sa 5. So, ano yung last digit? 2. Anong gagawin? I-multiply natin sa 5. So, 2 times 5, 10. And then, yung pangalawang gagawin natin, add this one to the remaining part of the number and you will get a new number. So, ang gagawin natin, Yung sagot natin sa 2 times 5, which is 10, i-add natin doon sa remaining number. 
So, yung remaining number natin is 53. So, 53 plus 10, the answer ay 63. Is 63 divisible by 7? Yep. Therefore, 532 is divisible by 7. Ano lang ginawa natin? We take the last digit, which is 2, multiply sa 5. Ang sagot ay 10. Yung 10, ia-add natin sa remaining number. 53 plus 10, the answer is 63. Identify natin kung yung 63 ay pwede bang i-divide kay 7. So, kung pwede siyang i-divide kay 7, therefore, yung number na yon is divisible by 7. Next one. Is 751 divisible by 7? Check natin. Kunin natin yung last digit. 1. 1 times 5 equal to 5. I-add natin sa remaining. 75 plus 5 is equal to 80. Ang 80 ba pwede i-divide kay 7? Nope. Hindi siya pwede. Therefore, 751 is not divisible by 7. Next. Divisible by 8. So, a number is divisible by 8 kapag yung last 3 digit niya is divisible by 8. Example, 280. So, 280 is divisible by 8. 402. 402 is divisible by 8. Nope. Hindi siya pwede i-divide kay 8. Kasi, yung last, yung, yung 3 digit na yan is not divisible by 8. How about 5,128? Kunin natin yung last 3 digits, which is 128. Ang 128, pwede bang i-divide kay 8? Yup, pwede siyang i-divide kay 8. So, therefore, 5,128 is divisible by 8. So, may iba pang way para mas madali nating ma-identify kung pwede siyang i-divide kay 8. Kasi, pag 3 digit kasi, medyo malaki pa yung number. Okay, so, may, may other way to check kung ang isang number is pwedeng i-divide kay 8. Ang gagawin lang natin is to halve 3 times and the result is still our number. So, hahatiin natin ng tatlong beses ang isang number at kapag yung pangatlong beses na inatin natin siya, ang sagot ay uh, whole number pa din, meaning pwede siyang i-divide kay 8. So, check natin yung 280. 280 divided by 2, ang sagot is 140. 140 divide natin sa 2, ang sagot ay 70. Yung 70 divide natin sa 2, ang sagot ay 35. So, yung sagot natin, after natin hatiin siya ng tatlong beses, ay whole number pa din. Therefore, 280 is divisible by 8. Okay, check. Next one. 402 hatiin natin sa dalawa, ang sagot ay 201. 201 Divide natin sa 2, ang sagot is 100.5. So, mapapansin natin, pangalawang hati pa lang, ang sagot na natin is not a whole number. So, automatically, the answer is no. It's not divisible by 8. Next, 5,128. So, divide natin sa 2, 2,564 ang sagot. Divide ulit natin sa 2, 1,282. Divide ulit sa 2. The answer is 641. So, after natin hatiin ng tatlong beses, yung sagot is whole number pa din. Therefore, it is divisible by 8. Okay. Next. Divisible by 9 naman. So, a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Kung yung sum daw ng mga digits ang isang number, pinag natin at yung sum is pwedeng i-divide kay 9. Therefore, yung number na yun, pwede siyang i-divide kay 9. Examples. 315. Add natin. 3 plus 1 plus 5. Sagot ay 9. Therefore, it's divisible by 9. 376. Add natin. 3 plus 7 plus 6. Ang sagot ay 16. 16 is not divisible by 9. So, therefore, hindi siya pwedeng i-divide kay 9. Next, 846. Add lang natin yung digits. 8 plus 4 plus 6, ang sagot ay 18. Since 18 is divisible by 9, therefore, 846 is divisible by 9. 
Next, 5,967. Add lang natin lahat ng digits. 5 plus 9 plus 6 plus 7. Ang sagot ay 27. So, 27 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 5,967 is divisible by 9. Okay. So, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Um,